If the new rules are approved, Chinese nationals will be able to get their visas on arrival in Zimbabwe. It could unlock pent-up demand in China to visit a country, which despite having attractions like the Victoria Falls and the Big Five, still lags behind its regional counterparts in attracting Chinese tourists. The Zimbabwe Tourism Authority says the country is getting slightly more than 5,000 visitors per annum, while regional counterparts with less stringent requirements average between 80 to 100,000 Chinese tourists per year. Zimbabwe wants to bolster tourist arrivals that have slumped as a result of apathy from its traditional European markets. But the move could also translate into increased investment into Zimbabwe, already a major recipient of Chinese finance. After its fallout with the West, Zimbabwe adopted a Look East policy to woo Far East capital. To me, for as long as we have a Look East policy, I think it would make sense to then um, uh, remove or uh, the, the, the uh, requirements for, for, for visas or maybe to make the process uh, quicker. Meanwhile, Zimbabwe has received $100 million worth of medical equipment through a loan facility extended by the China Exim Bank. The equipment will not only boost an ailing public health delivery system, but crucially position the country as a destination for medical tourism. If yesterday we were getting fewer patients from outside, their numbers will tend to increase in the future. Even from South Africa itself, where our people rush to for what they believe is better treatment. Tourism officials here are adopting a multi-pronged approach to grow the industry by targeting traditional visitors as well as medical and religious tourists. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.